So the baby chicks are, well, they were four weeks on Tuesday, and today is Thursday. And we went ahead and cleaned the box out outside, and we moved them outside. So they have a much bigger space to run around in. They got a little closed-in section, and then the little, that takes them out to a open section now this is in our chicken house so the bigger chickens are out here but they can't get to the baby chickens and the bigger chickens are very curious because they're wondering what that little peeping noise is but we have to keep them separate for at least four more weeks we want the baby chicks to be much bigger so that they don't get picked on by the larger chickens we have in here so they'll stay in this box this box for at least probably four weeks before we even think about open them opening them up to the rest of the chickens in the bigger hen house so we will keep them separate for a little while um, i'm going to add some food and some water onto these two the piece of wood and that um, piece of cement uh, so they have food and water they have a couple little places I'll put that little roosting thing in there oh there's their food right there so they got some food and we'll get the water and they have a couple of little spots you can see my shadow sorry we have some limbs in there that they can roost on so they have a couple of places to roost um, we are also going to be giving them their water is going to be medicated with um, some vitamins and probiotics because this is a little bit of a trauma moving them from their corral to this spot and especially because the larger chickens are out there and they can hear them um, so they're going to be a little nervous a little traumatized so we want to give them some extra vitamins and nutrients um, to keep them healthy and we'll keep an eye on them to make sure that they um, made the move okay we won't have to put any heat lamps out here because it is plenty hot now we are in summer and so it's a good 80 degrees to 90 plus out here so they will be fine they do not need any kind of heater so I just wanted to uh, show y'all the move four weeks old and they are outside now um, still contained not in the bigger hen house bigger chicken house still contained in here but they're going to be kind of excited because there's bugs and other stuff that they're not used to they have a lot more room here which is good they were getting way too big for the corral um, so those are our baby chickens and i'll just kind of show y'all our big chickens the sun is in a weird spot so those are our 13 larger chickens we have four roosters so i'm going to work on getting rid of probably three of those roosters because we just don't need that many roosters and there's a good chance in this eight that just hatched there's going to be a rooster so we really don't want more than two roosters so all right just wanted to do a check-in with y'all and show y'all that we moved the baby chicks outside All right, I just wanted to point out to y'all the box that we have the little chicks in. As you can see, we have a wooden top over this half. And then this half was just chicken wire, but because these bigger roost, bigger chickens like to stand on top of there like that, and they were kind of pooping underneath, we had to put some kind of top on that. So just wanted to point that out. You can see some of the baby chickens are out wandering around in the um open area so that little wooden top is removable so we can get in there to give them food and water but this box keeps them separate from all of the bigger chickens so they are gonna be staying in this box for at least uh like i said maybe about four weeks yeah, 
point out the bigger chickens to y'all as well. Eating and drinking. These bigger chickens we still have on the starter grower food as well. Um, and we are still giving them some medicated water. Um, these bigger chickens are about 16 weeks old, I think. And so here pretty soon we're going to change their feed over to a layer feed because they should start laying eggs probably in another month or so. So check some of the other videos on our YouTube channel if you want to learn more about the bigger chickens that we have. Um, but yeah, their food is probably going to change here pretty soon. And then I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to keep that separate from the little ones. How I'm going to feed them separately. So... We'll have to figure that out, but there you go. You can see the babies getting big. All right. <laughs>